I opened the pharmacy about five years ago and uh, always been looking for innovative things to try and do. And after trying and failing at a few things over the years, uh, we stumbled across two winners. Well, with our medication administration program, we have nurses that are employed at the pharmacy who visit patients in their homes every single day. Uh, they assist with insulin administration, blood glucose monitoring, oral medication administration, essentially any complex medication administration related task in the community our nurses can help patients with. We were told my mom had to have insulin for diabetes and within days they had my mom set up, they had nurses come in and my mom just loves the care. Every nurse that comes into our home, they're kind, they're patient. I'm really proud to know that the Cridge is looking after our mom and she's getting the best possible care. It was really great just to have that extra help as uh, I had been my mom's only caregiver for a long time. And uh, just to have that person uh, manage all of the medications and the related issues, it was just really, really helpful. Our uh, automated medication dispensing machine, it's called Spencer, um, which is short for dispenser. We provide those to the patients. The dispenser lives in their home and we deliver a cartridge full of their medications, which, which they load into the machine. It dispenses their medication for them throughout the day at the correct time and intervals. It's very important to, to have a good support because you see with age, I start losing the short uh, memories. And I'm really surprised because that Spencer is like a human being talking to you, calling my name and you know. <laughs> so it's, uh, it stays in my bedroom and wake me up or whatever I need to do. Jason was able to address the gaps and bring services that patients need to them in their home. Between our two programs, we help over 100 patients a day. It's resulted in a huge increase in safety, uh, decrease in medication errors, and uh, decrease in hospital admissions as well.